He who does not understand your silence will probably not understand your words. Albert Hubbard. Many times I sit in silence, listening, observing, releasing energy that is keeping me distracted from the important feelings and messages inside of me. There are so many distractions in life. There are rabbit holes and squirrels everywhere that drag our attention to the point we forget what we were trying to focus on. I have started practicing intentional silence. I set the intention to hear. I consciously tell myself to focus only on the breath and nothing outside of me. This requires putting down the phone, turning off any electronics that will make noise or draw my attention during that focused time. Sometimes I set an alarm or ask the angels to bring me out of my reverie when I am done with receiving. It is the silent practice that centers me. I know that if I listen closely, the silence will begin to speak. I need only allow. I don't have a topic or a question. I sit as an open vessel to be filled. When a thought comes in to pull me away down that rabbit hole, I thank it for being there. I go back to the breath and I keep centering until the quietness becomes deafening. It is then that I know I have come to the place where I need to be. That is when the miracle happens. I see a bright light starting as a spark and becoming larger until it overtakes me. It is this beautiful connection with spirit that is the basis of everything I do. It is in these precious moments that I know where my power comes from, and it is from the source of all that is. The angels assist me in calming my energy enough to reach that place, and I am so grateful to them for doing so. Dear angels, I am grateful for my spiritual practice of inner journeying and listening do you have any words for me or anyone who needs to understand this process and its benefits? Dear ones, what's being described is indeed a reverent state wherein you can meet with your higher self and be taken to the very depths of who you are as spirit. When you are quiet, the message becomes louder. When you listen, you will hear. When you awaken to your divinity, the divine blesses and guides you to further understanding. It is essential to do the inner journey as you travel in your human experience. To feel into the oneness of all that is will keep you centered and connected to the one source the creator. You did not come here to go through this experience alone. You came to learn and grow and to experience the oneness in your entire being. There is no separation and doing the inner work will show you how easily you can tap into the truth where only love exists. Love is not loud and overbearing. It will never pull you away from your true self. It will only draw you nearer to the eternal field of consciousness and allow you to feel enveloped in the arms of divine love. Dear angels, I do feel loved, blessed, and so very grateful for your guidance. Thank you. I love you. Namaste, y'all. <laughs>